Come on, let's sing that one more time. It says, I have a chance. I have a chance. If I obey, if I obey, say it was way, I have a chance to be. Come on, let's say it one more time. If I obey. Jesus Christ, if I obey, hallelujah, hallelujah, God bless us, in the name of Jesus Christ, you may have your seat at this time, praise God, as I will hand over the service to Pastor Richard, is it? amen, glory to God, I realize he's not here, praise the name of the Lord, Amen. Elder Gary, God bless you, my brother. Lord. Greetings, everyone. I, I am not Pastor Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Richards. <laughs> greetings, 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 St. Lucia. For the name of the living God. Glory. It's a historical day for St. Lucia today. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We had all sorts of people last weekend. But the hand of God is here today. Amen. And that's the difference. Bless the name of the Lord. I want to thank God. Lost for words. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. But one thing I know. The Lord says he's not willing that any should perish. That's what he says. But it's up to you. Are you willing to be saved? Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. So I want to thank God. I'm not going to take much of your time. But I want to pass over to uh, Elder Gary for a few words of encouragement. And then uh, Minister Baker. Bless the name of the Lord in this um, fashion. <laughs> Greetings again, everyone. We give thanks, praise, and honor to the Most High God by the name of Jesus Christ. We thank him for his goodness and mercies that he has extended towards us. He has afforded us another opportunity and privilege to be gathered together one more time in this fashion. Here in St. Lucia, we thank God for all the prophets and the apostles whom have gone before. We thank God for our leader, Pastor Jennings. We give God thanks for all the ministers that labor in the vineyard. I'm truly happy and glad to be here this, on this occasion, this first convocation for St. Lucia. Thanking God for journeying mercies to be here. We are grateful to God that Pastor Jennings was able to make it, you know, with his busy schedule. Thank God <coughs> that he could be here. We thank God for you all that are here gathered to worship God and to hear the word of God. Thank God for the day when God sent his servant and bring, brought the word even to this island and for those that are on this island to have given up and still given up and we are grateful to God and we are just anticipating the move of God here on this island I know that the Lord is going to take this island like he has all the islands because the earth is his and the fullness thereof thanking God for my brothers and sisters who visited from Trinidad and Tobago and thank God for my brother, Minister Baker, my wife, was able to make the trip. We are grateful. Brothers and sisters from America, we thank God for you. We are grateful to God to be in this gathering. And we pray that the Lord might continue to lead us and guide us. We pray that as you hear the word, that you don't harden your heart nor stiffen your neck, but to just give over and give in to God's will. May God bless you. May God keep you. Is our prayer. Greetings, everyone. Greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank the Lord God that we are able to be here in the first convocation for St. Lucia. Thank God I'm able to be a part of this. We give honor to God who is the head of our life and above everything. 
thank God for the apostles and prophets of all and for leader Pastor Jennings that he was able to make it here you know it is wonderful that we can be here together to worship the Lord worship the one God mm? and when I listen to the testimonies I hear the different nations the different tongues I even heard one man st stood up and he, he sounded like he was British. I might have been mistaken. And when I hear all of these different nations, different tongues come together to worship the one God, I say God is a good God. And I am glad and humbled that I am able to be a part of this gospel, which is a worldwide gospel. It is not just for one place but it's for the world and we thank God that this is what is being fulfilled in the scriptures because the Lord said this gospel will go in all the world then shall the end be so it is for us brothers and sisters wherever we are from to worship God spirit and in truth God bless you in Jesus Christ name. Indeed, brothers and sisters, we want to thank the one and only true God by the name of Jesus Christ. Surely it has been his mercies, his grace. That's why we are here today. And we owe him everything. Thank him for sending unto us the holy prophets, the holy apostles. And we want to thank God for living on record his words. That is a blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And to have an apostle in this our lifetime in Pastor Jennings. I'll just be brief before I hand over to Pastor Jennings, which I believe everybody wants to hear from. Bless the name of the Lord. But I want to give one short word of encouragement. You see, it is one thing to have something. Let me just put it this way. And I was saying to the saints of Pinolio, your parents may die and leave you a vehicle, but the fact that you cannot drive, that's a problem. Just take your time and listen. If you take it by your own self, you might crash it. And what I'm saying spiritually is, while the word is on record, people go to different places to try to interpret scriptures. That is why the world is in the mess it is today. Because the spirit that moved upon the prophets and the apostles, they don't have it. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And that is why the king, the writing on the wall, none of his magicians could have explained it. Why? Because the spirit that wrote the writing on the wall, they didn't have it. And it took Daniel who had the spirit of this same God to interpret whatever that was written there. And bringing it closer to home, the scriptures are written. They all are there. But because man has not the spirit of God and refuse to seek the face of God to understand scriptures, that is why the world is in the mess. But thank God for the apostle Pastor Jennings, who by the mercies of God, today, we have, and by the Spirit of God, to lead us in this path of holiness. May God continue to bless us and bless him with all understanding that the same Spirit that moved on the prophets and the apostles, that God may continue to move on him, that he can understand scriptures and explain scriptures that God's people can be saved. So brothers and sisters, I want to thank everyone who made the journey. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, without further ado, I take great pleasure. I say, I take great pleasure, bless the name of the Lord, to present to you none other than the Apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Bless the name of the Lord. You may be seated, brothers and sisters. I always like to have my hands free. Where's that other microphone stand at? That other microphone stand, bring me that. We'll set it up here. How are my brothers and sisters? 
get something out of it anyway. We'll make well enough do. You good? Ah, uh, it'll be all right. <clears throat> now we are grateful for you that took the time up to come this evening. We're glad for Pastor Richards and Elder Robinson and Brother Minister Baker. <clears throat> and to all of you that took the time up to come this evening, to my extended family here in St. Lucia. We're glad for all of you. Uh, to the brothers that are working the cameras tonight, whether they know it or not, but their work will be <clears throat> seen on an international platform because our broadcast is seen on the four corners of the earth in every country. And my camera crew couldn't be here, but I'm glad that these brothers are here. And uh, so the people can get a chance to see their other brothers and sisters that are here in St. Lucia. <clears throat> we thank God we normally get in when we travel a day ahead, depending upon where I'm going sometime three days ahead, four days ahead, but we just arrived really maybe three hours ago. We got in, had to wait for our room. When we finally got that, and by the time we got cleaned up and ironed your clothes and whatnot, and the bed looked so good I wanted to get in it. Uh, but nevertheless, our objective of being here is to call your attention to what you've been seeing and hearing over social media. And that is the truth that's in the Bible. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you have a lot of churches here in St. Lucia. In fact, you got too many churches here in St. Lucia where the preachers are more concerned about your money than they are your soul. They have imitated the American church racketeers and the hypocrisy that is in the pulpit in most of the American churches where the preachers don't get a job and go to work because they live off the people. People buy the false prophets in America their home, their cars, their clothing, their planes, their yachts, their boats. And out of ignorance and stupidity, the preachers teach the people that to be poor is a sin. This is the arrogance of these pulpit bums that pose as preachers. Poverty is not a sin. No. For Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have God, that's the true definition of being poor. The prosperity preacher have the wrong understanding of what prosperity is. It is not houses, it's not land, and it's not money. True prosperity is when you have the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. I don't care how rich you are. I meet rich people all the time, and I'm not impressed by none of them. They born of a woman like I am. And they soon will die like anybody else. Solomon says it this way. How do the wise man die? Then he come back and says, 
as the fool. Nigga, you came in this world, St. Lucia, and nigga, you shall return. So God willing, while we here tonight and tomorrow, we're going to roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. And we're going to pin your shoulders down with Bible until you tap out and give up and surrender and come out of whatever church you're in. God only have one church. Church is not the building. The church are those that have repented of their sins and were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and received the Holy Ghost like they did on the day of Pentecost, speaking in other tongues as the spirit of the living God give utterance. That's God's church. That's the way you get in God's church. And I would to God that I can have all of the religious people of this whole island jammed in one stadium. You know, as I was, we was riding on our way here and looked around, you know. I thought all the islands of the Caribbean were pretty much like Jamaica. Hills and mountains. Until I went to the Bahamas and was shocked at the flatland. But when the plane was laying in here, I felt like I was coming back to Jamaica. <laughs> mountains and hills. And, and I asked Pastor Richards, how many people live on this island? Over 100,000. So it was a small island. Just enough for the holiness to take it over. <laughs> Amen. So I want to, <clears throat> when I get back, when I get back, I want to talk to my broadcast team and find out what is the most strongest and the most popular religious or television station here. So I can cover the whole island as often as I possibly can. <clears throat> In other words, we want to put all these fake churches out of business. Make these preachers go get a real job and go to work. And stop living off the people or else die a fool and go to hell. Shut the churches down. That's why they don't, many folks don't like me when they hear we're coming in their country or on their island. There are some places that protest us coming. In Australia, the country got together and banned me. Parliament banned me. But I received a letter a few months ago. They lifted the ban. We'll see how long that lasts. Brother was telling me how they passed a bill and made it law in America that you'll go to jail now for speaking against the transgender or the gay community. <laughs> you can slap the first handcuffs on me, buddy. Because if God declared, hear me good, that he made the woman for the man, and I say to all the islands of the Car Caribbean and all the governments of the Caribbean, don't you let American government, which is nothing but an American prostitute, push their homophobic or homosexual agenda in the Caribbean. I say about the, uh, I credit the ambassador from Africa. He stood up against America. And I want to encourage all the governments of all the Caribbean. Stand up against America. And if America threaten you with the boycott, let them. God will provide for you. Amen. Amen. And the earth is the Lord's. I think about when Barack was president. And he tried to push the homosexual agenda on Africa. And then when Africa stood up against Barack, he was so determined to push that junk on Africa, he sanctioned. He put sanctions against the continent of Africa. 
Can you imagine? So now in America, they want to make it illegal to even use the word gay. Isn't that something? I find that strange. Why didn't America make it illegal to use the word nigger? Am I right? They've been calling us niggers since we've been black. They ain't made that illegal yet. But yet want to make it illegal to be called gay? Well, yeah, I'm going to call you what you are. I'm not going to call a horse a cow. I'm not going to call a cow a cat. I'm going to call a spade a spade. You know, we're living in the last days, God knows. Give me the 18th chapter of the book of Revelation. Let me take my time and soak you a little. Amen. I want to take my time and soak you. To all my visitors that is here, whatever church you belong to, don't you go back. Amen. Don't even waste your time and go back. Tell your priest you'll get a job and go to work himself. Amen. Don't you go back to these old false man-made churches here in St. Lucia. That's right. Amen. I'm pretty sure it won't be my last time. We're going to come back again. God be my helper. Amen. I want, I want to get a station here real quick. I want to bomb the island with Bible. Amen. Bomb them with Bible. Until the Baptist, the Methodist, the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, the non-denominational, and the Seventh-day Adventists, and the Rastafarians, and everything else. Muslims and Mormons. If everybody just come back to Bible, whatever you claim to be, see is God that. Don't brag about what you are. If you are the children of God and God is your heavenly father, then you should be what God is. Amen. If God is a Rastafarian, then you go ahead and be one. If God is a Hebrew Israelite, go ahead. Right. Be one. If God religion is Christianity, go ahead. You make that your religion. If God is a Mormon, you don't get no fat out of me. Then you be what God is. But God told you what he is. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. Leviticus 19 and 1 said, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And the Lord Speak unto Moses, say. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say unto them. What did God advise Moses to tell Israel? Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be what? Ye shall be holy. And what is the reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. That's good enough. It's good enough. If God says he's holy, then you take whatever you have. Dig a hole and bury it. That's right. Don't you tell me God got a variety of religions then give you the opportunity to choose from them. That's right. God ain't the author of confusion. No. If we are the children of God, then we ought to be what God is. Yes. Holy, Holy, sanctified, following the precepts and rules and regulations of God. God himself. That's right. All right, I want to brief you in the 18th chapter of the book of Revelation. Revelation. And before we read, I must always get this in, that we bear witness. Wonderful, brother. I, I just can't sit down without that. <laughs> that God is one. There is no three gods in heaven. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God before him. There will never be a God after him. That's right. There is no Trinity, in case I got any undercover St. Lucian Trinities here. That's right. You only got one God to serve. That's it. He's Father of creation. That's right. He made the heavens and the earth by himself. That's it. That he may get the glory out of creation. He manifests himself in the flesh, and that flesh was the holy thing that was born of Mary. That's right. And it was called the Son of God. That's right. 
and the spirit that was in that holy thing, the man Christ Jesus, was the comforter, Holy Ghost, God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So it wasn't three gods or three distinct personalities as if God is suffering from being a schizophrenic, not that. One God, many operations. He's a healer, he's a redeemer, he's a savior, he's a keeper, he's a provider. Our one God have many operations. That's right. All right, get this now. Revelation chapter 18, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And after these things, I saw another angel. After these things, I saw another angel. Come down from heaven, having great power. Yeah. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Uh -huh. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. And said what? Saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great <clears throat> is, is fallen. Fallen. Is fallen. What is it? And it's become the habitation of it devils. It has become a habitation of devils. Of devils. Someone said, well, Babylon fell already. Yes. The place of Babylon in the old country, that fell. That's right. But Babylon of the past represent Babylon of the future. That's right. Notice the Babylon of the past, the Bible says it has become what? And it's become the habitation of devils. It's where devils, devils. live. And the whole. And the whole. Of I every, mean all of it. Of every foul spirit. Look at it. That's right. America fit that description. That's right. Europe fit that description. That's right. Canada fit that description. Yeah. The Caribbean fit that description. That's right. So what is Babylon then? The Babylon. whole world. That's right. The whole world has become foul. Foul. Ungodly. Oh, yes. Wicked. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. That's right. Hateful. Hating one another. another. They love money more than they love God. That's right. They want money more than they want God. Oh, yes. They go to church today just for fun and games and to hang out, not to be saved. That's right. Not to be right. How did the world get like this? If you take a home where there's strictness and discipline, the moment the strictness and discipline leave that house, what do you think going to happen to that house? The children will become loose. That's right. The children will be disrespectful. The children will become disobedient. The children will become rebellious. And everything that was not allowed in that house, when the strictness leave, it will come in the house. That's right. Now they will be gambling, smoking, drinking. He, he, the son girlfriend will spend the night there. Oh, yes. And the girl's boyfriend will spend the night there. That's right. And the son's boyfriend will spend mm -hmm. the night there. That's right. And the girl girlfriend will spend the night there. That's right. This is what happened. That's right. When discipline, discipline. leave an environment. Oh, yes. Neighborhoods fold up. Yeah. Young boys are hanging out on the corner, smoking, oh, yeah. drinking, gambling, cussing, raping. That's right. Can't complete one sentence without MF this, MF that, That's right. MF the other. Yeah. Pants hanging down, showing your behind like you a male whore. That's right. Am I right, I say? Babylon the Great is fallen. A real man don't walk around and advertise his underwear. No. Hey, you get me? That's right. The word of God says. Babylon the Great is fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. It's become a habitation of what? Of devils. 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 Oh, yes. All right, you can shut this one down if this is on. I'm good. 
Amen. A habitation of devils. Let's look at the devils. Devils. You know, years ago, the Caribbean would be firm yes, sir. against same sex marriages. That's right. But even the Caribbean is putting its guard down. Yeah. The Caribbean now is putting its guard down. Island after island after island. Because to them, trading with foreign countries yeah. is more important than having self-respect in the country. That's right. One scripture says, what would a man give? Thanks exchange. God in exchange so, for his soul. For his soul. That's why I'm traveling the world. Yeah. I may not look up, but I'm tired tonight. I'm traveling the world, yes, brother. Are. Sure. Amen. When I get back, I'll, I'll be, I believe, in Charlotte. And then after that, I believe I'll be in Richmond the following week. After that, I believe I'll be in Canada. After that, I believe I'll be in Alaska. And, That's right. Amen. Laboring to do what? Turn you back to God. That's it. I don't want to see our young men out here dying the way you are. That's right. With no God. That's right. That's right. Say, Pastor Jay, you don't know what it's like out here. Don't tell me what I don't know what it's like. I'm from the hood. That's right. I was born and raised from the hood where holding these was an art. That's right. And brother, I know how to hold them too, buddy. Amen. We was get out there and mix it up. <clears throat> now I mix it up with Bible. That's right. Say, man, when you come bring Bible, well, to bring a lie, I sidestepped you. Amen. Then drop you That's right. with Bible. That's right. I'm laboring to get our young men, young women, and middle aged and old folk off the streets, That's it. hanging out, partying, making babies, and you're not married. That's right. Becoming wild animals. That's you right. lost self respect. You lost self decency. Unto you, O men, I call. Do you hear this? In Proverbs chapter 8 and at verse 4. The word of God says. Unto you. Unto you. O men. O men. I call. God is calling. And my voice. And my voice. Is to the sons of men. Is to the sons of men. O ye simple. O ye what? O ye simple. Wait a minute. What do God call these fellas? O ye simple. Amen. Amen. When a man look at each other. What's up, dog? Yeah. Simple. Wait a minute. Who would ever think that a man today will answer to the call of a trash eaten animal? That's right. And he's cool with that. That's right. Or oh, in America, yo, what's up, pimp? Yeah. A womanizer. Oh, yeah. What is the pride about being called dog or pimp? What That's is the pride in it? That's right. God didn't say, let us make pimp in our image. <laughs> no. No. God didn't say he made dog in his image. No. He declared he made man Amen. in his image. Look at yourself. That's right. Amen. That's right. You think you're a man because you carry a 45 or 38 or 22? Yeah. You think you're a man because you knock up so many girls you can't count and now you're the pride of St. Lucia? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. That don't make you a man. No. That don't make you a man no more than your shape and your compliments of your shape make you a woman. That's right. For you ain't never been a man or a woman until you obey God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Unto you, O oh men, I call. Unto you, hear me good. Amen. O oh man, I God call. is calling. And my voice, and my voice is to the sons of is man. to the sons of man. O ye simple, O ye simple, understand wisdom, understand wisdom, and ye fools, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. I'm talking to a world of fools. Oh yes, I meet more foolish people than wise people. That's right. Yes, I do, That's because right. the world. Love foolishness. Let's go back to Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Follow me. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And, and the world is fallen. Fallen. They're falling apart. 
That's true. The governments now That's true. trying to use the name Jesus yeah. hypocritically. Yeah. Like in America, Trump, who's back up running for office. Yeah. He told his followers that he going to put Jesus back in the schools. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine. When did the devil put Jesus in school? <laughs> That's right. That's right. So they use Jesus' platform. That's right. The politicians now, because somebody run for office and say they're going to speak against abortion and whatnot, the whole religious sector support them. Right. But if you're going to support one thing, that they say is right, but yet they want to justify the other thing that is wrong. A little leaven, leaven of the whole lump. Whole lump. And whenever I talk about Trump, the moment I mentioned him last week, just last week, hmm. his followers got on our site hollering. Oh, yeah. Hollering. Ho they say he's at Trump again. That's right. He's at Trump again. Well, you know he's a Democrat. No, I'm not. I'm holiness. That's it. I'm not Democrat or Republican. That's right. I'm holiness. That's it. Yeah, man, holy, holy and sanctified. And sanctified. Being that Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. You that are here on the island of St. Lucia, are you falling with it? Amen. Amen. Look at yourself. Amen. Look at the life you're living. Yeah. Are you a smoker? Are you a gambler? Are you a hustler? Are you a womanizer? Do you chase women? Do you chase men? That's right. Do you love the party? That's right. Are you in the club? That's Go right. on and look at the uh, Caribbean sisters come down on a pole twerking for you. That's right. Ha, 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 ha. That's right. Eh? Amen. Twerking for you, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting me, man? Are you getting me? <laughs> That's right. That's what you want. We come along with Bible telling you is holiness or hell. That's it. Ain't no in between. No. Holiness or hell. Or hell. I want to say I don't believe in hell. So what? You may not believe it's hot on this island. <laughs> it's hot on this island. It's hot. Yeah? That's right. I mean, you can't come to a <laughs> you can't come to an island like this and uh, enjoy, enjoy it the way. It's made to be enjoyed no. and serve the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Standing up here, I'm up here in some hot suit and hey man and necktie like a noose around my neck. Hey man, these islands are not made uh, for that. No. Eh? That's right. They are made so you can die in a man go to hell That's right. with a smile on your face. That's right. Glory be to God. That's right. Come on, son. Babylon the Great is fallen. Babylon is fallen. the Great is fallen. It is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Yes. And the homes of every foul the spirit. The whole notice. Whole. Babylon consists of how many foul spirits? Of every foul spirit. I Every. mean everything that the devil can think of, he placed in the earth. That's right. Every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. The spirit of lying, the spirit of lust, the spirit of arrogance, the spirit of homosexuality, right. the spirit of hatred, the spirit of jealousy, amen, the spirit of high-mindedness, high the spirit of falsehood. Every what? Every foul spirit. The spirit of lying religion. That's right. Just circulating in the earth. Circulating. So God is making a call. That's right. A recall. That's right. Hey Amen. You know, when they make new cars, they make recalls to get the bugs out. Amen. God done made you for his glory, yeah. and now he's making a recall to bring you back to him. Because since you've been walking the earth, yeah. you got a lot of bugs in you. That's right. Eh? That's right. I hey mean, you walked on the earth in, or among this wicked assembly line. Mm. Now look at you. Now look at you. Thinking things you never thought before, doing things yeah. you never thought you would do, going to some church on Sunday or Saturday just to say you've done some religious deed. <laughs> That's right. That's why some folk go to church, you know. 
They go to church on Saturday, they cut the devil from Monday to Friday, and they say, you know, I think I'll go to church on Saturday and give right. God some time. They do that just so they can feel, they don't feel that guilty. <laughs> And That's then right. my son did it right back out there again. Woe to the rebellious children. What did he say? Isaiah chapter 30 and at verse 1. I want you that are here in St. Lucia and you that are watching and listening, judge yourself according. That's right. What kind? Woe to the rebellious children. Hard head. Hard head. Oh, they hard head too. Oh, yes. Amen. These folks, the young kids are committing crimes younger and younger. That's especially right. Especially in America. That's right. I mean, in America, the young kids eat. 9, 10, That's 11, right. carjacking. Oh, yes. 8, 9, 10, 11, raping women who's already married and got a family. That's true. That's true. 8, 9, 10, 11, doing crimes that some adults didn't think of doing until they were adults. That's right. And what the government is doing now is looking at these kids committing the crime of adults, and they're putting kids now in prison along with adults. That's right. 11 years old now are in the same cell. That's right. Of men 30, 35, 40, 45. That's right. Young boys now murdering yeah. husbands and wives and raping their sons and daughters and they only 12, 12. 13, 14. That's right. Look how mean and how the devil made them. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And you can pray that the world get better. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. But it won't happen. But it won't happen. That's one hallelujah. That's one prayer that God won't answer. That's right. Because according to the word of God, the Bible says, evil men and yes. subducers yes. shall yes. wax yes. worse and worse, yes. deceiving and yes. being deceived. Yes. The yes. world will not get better. No, it won't. But you, the church, you're supposed to get better. That's right. That's right. And what's keeping God people from getting better? Liars have stepped in the pulpits of the churches. That's right. That's right. You want to get better, and the preacher don't want you to get better. No. You want to get better, he want to get rich. That's right. You want to get right with God, he want to stay wealthy. Yeah. You want to get close to God? He want to get rich. There's a conflict in interest. Oh, yes. You want your soul right? He don't care about your soul. That's right. That's right. Many folk write me, why my pastor don't preach this? Why my pastor don't preach that? It's in the Bible. He don't care about your soul. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? Woe to the rebellious children, do, saith the do, Lord. Do you hear? Do you hear? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe! To the rebellious children, saith the Lord. To the rebellious children, saith God. That take counsel. They take counsel. They but, take advice. But not of me. <laughs> Amen. The reason why that counsel don't come from God, because God said if they have stood in my counsel. In my counsel. And caused my people to hear my words, then it would have turned them. From the evil ways and from the evil of their doing. That's but right. these young people today take counsel together to yeah. commit all type of crime. That's right. Plot against families to break in the houses. Yes. Rape their daughters. Rape their own cousins. That's true. That's true. Sons will plot to murder his father. That's right. Daughters will plot to kill their mama. My son of sinners and touch thee. Do you hear all of this Bible? Proverbs chapter 1 and at verse 10. Look at you, young man. My son. You know you didn't used to be the way you are. That's right. Until you got around. Hallelujah. God, you got around the wrong crowd. That's right. You was pressured. And because you wasn't man enough. Yeah. Or woman enough to stand up against the pressure. That's it. Your manhood was taken from you and your bow. That's right. To join that gang, they told you, you're going to have to rape her. Yeah. Oh, no, man, they ain't doing that. Oh, you want to be a part of this group? This group, you got to rape her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. To be a part of this group, steal your mother's money, steal your father's car. That's right. Cut your own brother. That's right. Are you listening? My son of sinners entice thee. Listen at the Bible in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1 and I'm at verse 10. My son. If sinners entice thee. If sinners. If the wicked. Entice thee. Entice you. Consent thou not. Consent thou not. 
If they say, come with us. If they say, come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. Oh, that's what they say now. Oh, yeah. Let's lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privately. Let us do what? Let us lurk. Let us lurk privately. Privately. For the innocent without cause. I Amen. told you, it ain't nothing that you can think of that's not in the Bible here. That's right. The Lord saw you coming. That's right. Amen. And he see the young men in and out of jail, in and out of jail, young girls more and more becoming unwed mothers. Oh, yeah. Baby by Jeffro, baby by Peter, baby by Moses, baby <laughs> by Aaron, baby by little John, baby by Friar Tuck, that's baby right. by Robin Hood. Baby by Kermit, baby by Big Bird, baby by Bert, baby by Ernie. That's right. That's right. Got a whole house full of Muppets. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And not one man will step up and take care of his own child. No, it won't. You ain't no man because you drop your drawers and mount up on some woman. Go ahead, brother. And donate your sperm. That's right. That don't make you a man. That's right. If you want to be a man, obey God. That's it. That's right. All right, listen to what I'm talking. Proverbs chapter 1 at verse 11. What is it? If they say, come with us. Come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. That's what they tell you. That's what they say. They tell you, come on, hang out with us, man. Come on. That's right. Hey, Billy, what you doing tonight? Oh, look, man, I'm going to bed early. Oh, man, come on. That's right. Look, man, I got to help my mama. So-and-so with your mama. So-and-so yeah. with your mama. My Lord. That's what they say. So they teach you not to care about the woman that birthed you in the world. That's right. So your friends coerce you to come out the house. Yeah. To rob somebody else's house. Oh, yeah. To run a train on an innocent girl. Mm. What do you mean you run the train? Mm. Back to back raper. That's right. And this is what you young people fail to realize. That's right. God said, you shall reap what you sow. What you sow. What you sow. You run a train on somebody's daughter. Yeah. Then down the road, you have a daughter. And then somebody, a group get together and run a train on her. That's right. Now you reaping what you sow. Now you going through the emotional dilemma that you put that other family through. That's right. God got it fixed so you will never get away with your sin. That's right. That's right. You think you tough? Go ahead. When you able to beat God, then I look up to you. Oh yeah. So I ain't got to worry about ever looking up to you because you will never be able to be God. No. Are right, you listening to what I'm talking about? If here. they say, come with us. If they say, come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. Let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privately. Let us lurk privately. For the innocent without cause. You young boys are still in school. Yeah. If your friends suggest for you to stay after school, so you can fondle one of your classmates, one of the girls, so you can touch her. That's it. You stay away from that group. That's right. You That's young it. girls in school, if your friends want to lurk privately, privately and entice you That's to right. get into something that you know is wrong, get away from that group and stop concerning yourself how they look at you. That's right. You want to be concerned about who looking at you? Concern yourself that God is looking at you. That's right. Am I right, I say? Amen. Go ahead, brother. I right, listen to the old troublemaker. Let us look privately for the innocent Let us without look cause. Privately. For the innocent without cause. Wait a minute. Let us look privately for the innocent without cause. For no reason. That's right. Without cause. Let us lay in wait for that woman to come out of her house so we can snatch her pocketbook for no reason. No, nope, that's right. Let us lay in wait so we can murder this man yeah. for no reason. No reason. Oh, yeah. Let us lay in wait so we can rape that girl that live on our block. That's right. For no reason. That's right. Let us lay and wait so we can sodomize that little four-year-old boy. Go ahead. For no reason. That cause. That's right. Hallelujah. And let me show you how sick the governments of the world are. Yeah. 
who condone this same-sex marriages. That's right. They say that, I don't know how it is here, but in America, the transgender community, they don't want to be identified, as you know, as male or female. So they say they want to be called them yeah. <clears throat> or they, you know, or it or our, That's right. you know, the it's, the days, the them, the hours. Sound like a bunch of singer groups. Amen. So this is the stupidity of America. Stupidity. That if a grown man says he's a woman, mm. the American government gives him permission to go into an all-woman's bathroom. That's right. And use it while your daughter is in there. While she's there. That's right. The government of America, if a woman says she's a man, yep. then the government give her permission to go into a men's bathroom while men are still there. That's right. Do you see how sick? Sick. So that means your daughter is subject to be raped. Oh, yeah. If it haven't happened already. That's right. A man can say he's a woman and then participate on a woman's basketball team. <laughs> a woman track team. That's right. Which ain't nothing but a man racing against a woman. Against a woman. That's just how stupid. That's right. The government of America is. That's right. You see, when you serve God, you're going to offend people. Oh, yeah. But Jesus said, blessed is he that is not offended in me. Right. When you serve your government, you are afraid to offend people. Oh, yes. You see, I don't serve America. That's right. I ain't no patriot. <laughs> That's right. I don't give two cents about the American flag <laughs> and nobody else's flag. <laughs> Amen. The only banner that I'm interested in is the banner that come, the Bible says, in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Of the Lord. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Listen at this. Still in Proverbs chapter 1, it's still at verse 11 now. Yes. If they say, come with us. Come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. Yes. Let us swallow them up alive as Let's the grave. Let us swallow them up alive. As the grave. As the grave. Let's and take them over. Take them over. Uh -huh. And whole as those that go down into the pit. Yes. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses we with spoil. We're going to find all, all precious pre we're substance. We're going to steal from them. We're going to rob them. That's right. That's right. There come a time in your life you want to stop being in and out of jail. In and out of jail. In and out of jail. This time is taking out your life. That time is taking out your life. Oh, yeah. Make some changes about yourself. That's right. Change your life. Don't just change your drawers. Go ahead, man. Am I right? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Change your life. That's it. That's it. Stop drinking your beer and whiskey until you're cussing your own mama out. That's right. Coming home drunk, beating your wife senseless. That's right. And the next day you claim you don't remember nothing. <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. Go back to Revelation. I want to take my time and work on Babylon. Back in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. Follow me. Babylon the great is falling. Babylon the great is falling is falling. And it's become the habitation, become of, devils. habitation of devils. And the holes of every foul spirit. The hole of every foul spirit is here. God knows. And a cage. Wait a minute. A cage. Of every unclean and hateful bird. Amen. It's a cage. It's a cage. It's all an entrapment. That's right. Of every what? Of every unclean. Every unclean. And hateful bird. And hateful bird. 
for all nations. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everybody have drunk, have drunk of the wine of the, wine of the wrath of the wrath of her of fornication. Her fornication. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hallelujah. Drunk the wine, wine of the wrath of her fornication. Of her fornication. Now, how can you drink fornication? When the Bible says they all drank drunk of the wine of the wine hold it right then that lets you know that something took them over when a person is drunken off wine they're incoherent that's right they're taking over swallow up the wine that's right say things that's why we go to a state store it's called wine and spirits wine and spirits because when you get drunk you get another spirit hmm. yeah you get another spirit if any of you here ever was drunk, you can bear witness. You get another spirit, man. You say stuff, and sometimes your words all slurred. slurred. You see things that's not there. That's right. You see the little crack that is in the tile. It take you the longest to step over that. That's right. You think it almost become a Grand Canyon. Amen. Take you all know how long to put your key through a door. You're just looking at it, <laughs> trying to aim, rocking. Staggering like you on the sea, looking. That's right. And then you want to come religious, right? That's then you start talking about God. Mm -hmm. I, I know who God is. Yeah. He's my, my, my. Spirit got gotcha. you. That's right. <laughs> hey! That's right. Spirit, a spirit got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Right? Then you become religious. I'm, I'm God. I don't tell me nothing about God. I know I'm God. I can preach that word. I I, hallelujah. That's right. You old drunken spirit filled heathen. That's right. Do you hear this? For all nations have all nations have drunk, drunk of the wine of the wine of the wrath of her fornication of the wrath of her uncleanness. Uncleanness. She indulged. Yeah. And every act that was unclean, unclean because the spirit of filth had taken over mind, soul, body, spirit. That's right. That's right. Uh, that sounds like the government of America to me. Oh, yeah. The American government is a dirty government. It's a dirty government. They tell that lie in God we trust. They don't. There's a few people in America that trust God. <laughs> the government in America don't trust God. No. Because when any government trusts God, your laws will coincide with God laws. That's right. In fact, you will go to God's word before you make a law. That's right. And make sure the laws you made don't contradict the laws that's already in place. That's right. All right. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yes. And the kings of the earth. What? And the kings of the earth. Even them that's in the thought. Have committed fornication with her. They laid with, with her. the devil. That's right. With her. Committed fornication with, with her. her. With her. Indulge in the uncleanness. That's why look at America. Oh, yeah. Now, let me describe America this way. You know one thing about a prostitute? Hmm. You give her a few dollars <laughs> and she'll do your tricks. That's right. America. It's like a worldwide prostitute. That's right. You give America a few dollars, yeah. she'll do a trick for anything. Do a trick. Turn her back on God, denounce God. That's right. Years ago when uh, the woman that was an atheist was against pledge, uh, what was that, that, that one statement I think was in the so-called Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, one nation under God. Uh, she fought that. She, they, they, they took that out too. Mm. Took all. They want to take all the Ten Commandments off the courthouses. Yeah. They say separate church, church. and state, church. but yet they got on the money in God we trust. That's right. During World War II, when they were dropping bombs on Hiroshima, yeah. there was a song that was sung. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Wow. Yeah, you never heard that? Mm. Yeah, that was a song during World War II in America. 
Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. America is a filthy, dirty, filthy. ungodly, crooked nation. That's right. And the only thing that That's can right. straighten out the world is God himself. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? For all nations have drunk of the wine. All nations. All nations. Everything. That's America, right. America, Europe, Canada, Africa, the Caribbean, everything. All nations. All nations. Have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And what? And the kings of the earth. Them that's in authority. Have committed fornication have committed with them. committed fornication with them. And the merchants of the earth. The, them that sell, buy and sell. Are wax rich. They got rich. Through the abundance of her delicacies. Do you hear that? Amen. That's true too. In America now, true. they want to legalize prostitution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Years ago, when uh, President Bush was president, the father, not the son, the father, when he was president, yeah. he tried to pass a bill to legalize prostitution because he said that the prostitutes was making so much money, <laughs> America should get their cut. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. And now the same thing is back on the table now. Yeah. Because prostitution is making so many, not millions, but billions. Billions. They said none of the prostitutes is paying taxes. Amen. <laughs> they want to tax them for their filthiness. My Lord. That's that That's devil, devil so deep out of hell. That's right. I wonder how did he get out. And the merchants of the earth. The merchants. Of the earth. Of the earth. Are what's rich. This is what the Bible means when it says the love of money. Yeah. Is the root or the source all of evil. all evil. All that means people will break any law. Oh yes. To get that money. That's right. Why you think the preachers today ignore the Bible. They are preaching anything, say anything, fellowship with anything. Amen. They are lie to you in Jesus' name. Yes, they will. To get that money. That's right. That's right. And these preachers that you see here on television from America, from the America. preachers here in St. Lucia try to do just like them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure they do. I, they church can be just the size of this room here. Yeah. And they try to do like them. Oh, yeah. Tell you touch your neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, this is your time. Get your hand off your neighbor. That's right. You go touching nobody. <laughs> That's right. Preachers here have done the same thing. Yeah. Touching and claiming. Don't you touch and claim nothing. Amen. Bible don't teach that lie. No. Come on back to Bible. That's it. America have became an example of hypocrisy to the world. That's right. And now the world want to mimic the American preachers. That's right. You want a Rolls Royce? Ain't nothing wrong with that, but you go get a job and buy it yourself. Amen. You want a mansion? Fine, get a mansion. But you go to work you go and to work. buy it yourself. That's right. You want a jacuzzi? Jacuzzi yourself out. Get a <laughs> job, go to work, and buy your jacuzzi yourself. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? And the merchants of the earth are wax rich. The merchants. Of the earth. Our wax rich. Our rich. Through the abundance of her delicacies. Through the abundance of her pleasure. And I heard another voice from heaven. What does it say? Saying, come out of her, my people. What? Come out of her, my people. Oh, they get mad at me all over. He ain't got no Bible telling people to come out to churches. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, you do. Come on out of them churches that's playing with your soul. That's right. Bowing your head and raise your hands and telling you you saved. You know more than a saved then a duck can shoot dice and come up with seven. <laughs> That's right. That's You're right. not even safe. Let's more save. Amen. The Bible says do what? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my you people. You come out the churches where the women preach. That's right. I know y'all got them here. Because one thing I know about the Caribbean, I don't care what island I go to, Jamaica, Bahamas, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, St. Thomas, Barbados, Trinidad, Trinidad, Tobago, I don't care where it is. Amen. Women preachers is there like sugar cane. <laughs> and undoubtedly there may be some undercover, undercover. evangelists here. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to trim you down with Bible. Oh yes. God ain't never called and sent a woman to preach, preach the gospel since he been God. That's right. You got liar. Never. Never. You take that license that that old false prophet gave you. I don't care if it's your father. Yeah. If your father gave it to you, if you slap happy grandpappy or your husband. That's right. Gave you a license. He did. 
that license is no more justified at all. At all. The Bible says in the book of Timothy, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor the use of authority over the man, but to be in silence with all subjection. That's right. There is no such thing as a woman apostle, a woman uh, a bishop, bishop, or a woman assistant pastor. That's what's in your organization. That's right. It's like United Pentecostal, UPC, or PAW, or Assemblies of God, or Church of God in Christ, or uh, some seven day at Venice, amen, and all this. United Apostolic House of Prayer. I'll burn that junk mm. down with Bible. That's right. Come out of her, my people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come out. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. My people. Hallelujah. Notice, why does the Bible call it her? Her. Because a woman can get pregnant. That's right. When she get pregnant, it gain weight. Yeah. So when you in a false church, you in a pregnant body. That's right. And you gain weight. And God, the weight that you gain, God wants you to lay aside. That's right. So he said, lay aside every, every weight. weight of sin. That's right. We do it so easily. That do it so easily. Go and take off. That's set the fire. And let us run with run. patience. Run. With patience. The race. The race. That is set before us. And while we're running, who shall we look to? Looking unto Jesus. Who shall we look to? Looking unto Jesus. The author. We look to one. Looking unto Jesus. Who is it? The author. The originator. And finisher. And the finisher. Of our faith. Of what we believe. That's it. So if there's any women here that got ordained a pastor or an assistant pastor or a little half pint evangelist and you just take that stuff and throw it in the trash, in the you're trash. not a preacher. That's right. You're, if you, you're not a preacher. Who? You or your mama. Or your mama. And if you and your mama's here, I'm telling both of you. That's right. Your mama. That's right. And you. That's You're right. not a preacher. Not a preacher. Every church that got women preachers is a false church false set up church. by the devil, pastored by false prophets, yes. and attended by hypocrites. That's right. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come my, out of her. My people. Come on, you got a trial sermon. You ain't got a trial out of nothing, her. you liar. That's right. Come, Come out. out of her. Come out of her, my people. <laughs> Yeah. Come out of her, my people. All right, St. Lucia. That's right. <laughs> come out of her. Come out of her, my people. All right, St. Lucia. You come on now. And you men. Come on out. Bible said the head of every woman is the man. How in the world you become so spineless and so frail and so weak? You weak. sit on the woman preacher. That's right. Bible says the head of every woman is the man. Is the man. So how are you the head at home and you to tell that church? That's right. Woman preacher bossing you around. Come up here and collect the offering, deacon. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Be around that woman so long you start acting sack timid and feminine, just like her. Just like her. That's why you clap like her. My, my, my. Jeez. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the devil out of hell. That's the devil. Am I right? Come out of her, my come people. Out, come out, come out of her, out. my people. Hallelujah. One thing about the Caribbean, I'll tell you. The women preachers run thick in the Caribbean. Yeah. They run thick. Women preachers and divorce and remarry. That's right. Them are thick subjects in America. That's right. Because many of your preachers got more than one wife, mm -hmm. two wives, and three wives, and all. And they'll fight you bitterly for that extra piece of ham. That's right. That's right. He left that chicken, now he going after that ham. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Come out of her, my Come people. Come out of her. Come Glory out. Glory to God. That's right. Come on, son. Come out of her, my Come people. Out of her, my people. That you be not partakers that, of her sin. That you don't participate of her sin. In what she's doing. And that you receive not of her plagues. That you don't be punished. For her. You. That's right. You're going to be punished for your sins if you don't repent. Oh, yes. You could be stubborn as an icicle in zero weather. That's right. And one thing about an icicle in zero weather, it ain't dripping. No. The climate got to change first. That's right. For that thing to start dripping. That's right. Man, ice outside ain't got a chance here. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. I, I, I can bring a block of ice here. It ain't got a chance. That's right. That thing going to backslide in no time. That's right. Huh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you. Amen. Come on, son. Come out of her, my people. Glory to God. Come out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins. That you don't be a partaker of her sins. And that you receive not of her plagues. Yeah. For her sins have her reached. Sins have reached. Have reached. Under heaven. That's something. 
Brother, any time your sins done reach the heaven, to heaven, brother, you done got God disturbed. That's right. So disturbed in the Old Testament, the Lord says this, for a long time, I have held my peace. peace. Now I'm ready to cry. Like a woman in travail. When a woman is in travail, bring her forth that child. Brother, she's crying out in pain. Oh, yes. Now imagine God Almighty said he's ready to cry as a woman in travail. I have long time. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 14. What is it? I have long time holding my peace. Hold it. Let me explain that. What do you mean, Lord? I didn't put judgment on you. I didn't bring my wrath. That's right. I've been patient. That's right. I looked at you in your conduct. I didn't let nothing happen to you. I watched over you still. Let you get up. Let you go to sleep. Still made it let you eat. Let you keep a job. That's right. You still act like a fool and ignore me for a long time. For I have and I have been patient and long suffering to the human family. That's right. But I'm getting tired now. I have been still. What? what? I have been still. Hallelujah. I wouldn't bring my wrath on you. That's right. What is it? And refrain myself. I felt myself about to do something, but I refrained. <laughs> That's right. I was about to unleash on you, but I refrained. That's right. Because I'm a God of mercy. Amen. But now. Now will I cry. Uh-oh. Now will I cry. Will I cry. Like a travailing woman. Look, I, I, I've been in, in a delivery room with my wife seven times. Mm. And that girl was yelling. Amen. I, doctors, I remember the firstborn, Brittany, and the doctor said, you want to help? I said, well, certainly. Amen. Doctor said, you get on that side. So I got the leg on that side. And doctor on the other side. Doctor said, push. Oh, man. She started yelling. Ah! Dottie said, she looked at me, she said, Gina, you sure you never did this before? I said, no. I said, why you ask that? She said, you're so calm. I said, yeah, I'm calm. I said, don't you worry about my calm. You just push. That's good. She went at it again. And then I start cutting up, making her laugh. Oh! She started, oh! I said, hey! <laughs> He said, stop. You're making me laugh. Stop. I got to get this child out of here. I said, bring it on out there. Get it on out of there. So you women that have been in child labor, you know what it's like. Yes. You know the pain. Oh, yes. Now, magnify that mm. more than a trillion times. My Lord, my Lord. And you still haven't touched the tip of God's anger. God's anger. That's right. You women that are watching now. That's right. That have birthed a child or children. You know the pain. That's right. Magnify that more than a trillion times. More than a trillion. And you still haven't touched the tip mm -mm. of God's anger. That's right. Do you hear what God said? I have long time holding my on. Time. Holding my peace. You know, glory to God. That's something to think about. Yes, Until the Bible say he long oh, suffering, suffering to us with. That's right. That's right. Some folks say, I'll be glad when the Lord come. Let the Lord take as long as he wants. Amen. And you utilize that time to get yourself right. That's it. Do you hear this? I have long time holding my peace. I a long time. Holding my peace. I, ha I have been still. I've been still. And refrained myself. I refrained myself. Now. Now. Will I cry like a travailing I'm woman. I'm going to cry like a woman in pain. I will destroy and devour at once. <laughs> God talking. I will destroy and devour at no once. No government in the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God shall get away with the blasphemous bills. That's right. That they make laws. That's right. Hallelujah. You can ban, hallelujah. You can band together under any government in the world today. No government. No government. Every government going to stand before God. That's right. Because the government is upon his shoulders. That's right. That's right. 
Are you listening? I will, I will destroy and devour God at say, once. I will destroy and devour and devour at once. How quick? At once. At once. You better take this warning. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. I'm warning you. Hallelujah. You churches, glory Hallelujah. to God. You churches, you churches, you preachers. Yes. The, the judgment of God is coming. That's right. Upon creation. That's right. That's right. St. Lucia, St. Lucia, all you islands of the Caribbean. Hallelujah. Don't you know if God wanted to, he could bring just one tsunami? Oh, yes. And wash you from time into eternity. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? I will destroy. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I said. I will destroy and devour at once. He can bring one tsunami. Wash all your money away. That's right. Wash all your divorce away. That's right. Wash all your homosexuals away. Yeah. They are, they are underwater archaeologists. Yeah. They have went underwater. Oh, yes. And have discovered cities that have been buried underwater. That's right. Been down there for thousands of years. That's right. Ancient cities that God got tired of. Yeah. Many, many, many hundreds of years ago. That's right. Brought earthquakes and typhoons and washed all civilization away. That's right. There are cities that are sitting on top of cities. That's true. Ancient cities being covered. And modern cities is on top of them. That's true. Hallelujah. All the dwellers of that city, gone. 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 America, who do you think you are? Amen. If you're going to tell one country don't have weapons of mass destruction, then don't you have them. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? I will destroy and devour at once. Do you hear this? I will make waste mountains. I look at it. Look at the mountains here in St. Lucia. God says, I will make waste mountains. Can you imagine stepping outside one day and That's the right. hand of God got your mountains on the island split in half? That's right. You look up, there's an angel with one foot on the sea mm. and another on the island. The island. And a sword is drawn and cutting the mountains of the Caribbean in, Hallelujah! That's in right. half. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm warning the world. Go ahead. Come on back to God. Hallelujah. Come back to Bible. That's it. Preach it, man. Preach it. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Imagine, look up one day, and God's in a destroying angel yeah. with a sword drawn Morning. over the whole White House and Congress. That's right. That's Ready right. to bring judgment on every Democrat and every Republican. That's right. I'm That's warning right. you now. That's right. You can be as hard head and arrogant and high minded. High -minded. Play church. Love your money. Get Go all your hallelujah. Go ahead. Get all you can, but the Holy Ghost is talking here. I will make I will make I waste will mountains. Make waste mountains. Mountains. And hills. And hills. And dry up all their herbs. Hmm. What do you mean dry up your earth? I up. starve you. That's right. I send pestilence to dry your whole crops up. That's right. You will have money, but you won't be able to buy nothing to eat. That's because right. I will attack your crops. And dry up all their earth. Dry up all your earth. And I will make the rivers islands. I will make the rivers what? Islands. I will, I will dry the waters up. And I will dry up the pools. That's Nobody right. can do it like God. Can. Nobody can do it like God. Come out of your fake so called Pentecostal and non denominational apostolic and all of this stuff that right. come clean out of hell and get ready to obey God. That's it. Get on God's side, St. Lucia. That's right. Get on God's side. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bible says, whosoever will. Yes. Let him come. Give me Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What the word of God said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. It's time for you to get yourself right, you that are here tonight. Yeah. If you bow your head and raise your hands and thought you were saved, you ain't never been saved. That's right. You join some church. God ain't tell you join no church. No. Pray no sinner's prayer. You saw some American television liar and you touched the screen and repeated after him. 
Lord Jesus, come into my heart, wash me, I'm a sinner. And he said, you saved. You no more saved than a duck can wear sneakers. That's right. And coach the, Celt the Celtics, the Celtics. And, and the Lakers. That's right. And shoot a three-pointer. My Lord. And make all the shots. Amen. And, sa and simultaneously play pool. I'm going to make it so hard Let's for make you. Make it hard. Repent. Ben Peter said unto them, repent. It's time for you to repent. Do you know what repentance is? Yeah. God wants you to be sorry for being a sinner. That's it. See, a lot of you are sinners, but you ain't sorry. You having fun. That's right. You having a big time, but the moment someone you die in their sins, that's a friend of yours or a relative of yours, you want to be the loudest crybaby at the funeral. That's right. Grabbing the body all at the casket and shaking it, snotting, dripping from your nose on the corpse. <laughs> that's right. And then after the funeral is over, you go right outside while the family's there at the house eating. Yeah. You outside somewhere smoking. That's true. They just died. That's right. Temporary sadness. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Do you hear this? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent of your sins. That's Have it. some conviction in your heart yeah. for being so devilish wicked. Oh, and yes. ungodly and full of hell. That's right. And, and be baptized every one of you. The Bible ain't tell you bow your head and raise your hands. The Bible no. ain't never taught that lie. No. The Bible didn't ever told you join the church. No. The Bible never tell you prayer sin is prayer. No. Never. Never. Be baptized. How much? Every one of this you. This is the new birth. That's it. This is how you're born again. That's it. Be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's when you're born of the water. That's right. And what? For the remission of sin. And? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy that's Ghost. That's when you're born of the Spirit. That's what Jesus told Nicodemus. Verily, right. verily, I say unto you. Except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. When you're born of the waters, when you repent of your sins and you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Spirit, by the Spirit, from the Spirit. Speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of the living God give utterance as they did on the day of Pentecost. And even the Holy Ghost itself comes in a repentant life. That's right. Huh? That's right. Repent! Repent and be baptized. How many here want to be right with God and don't want to burn in hell throughout eternity and want to be right and want to be baptized tonight in the name of Jesus Christ? That's right. Stand on your feet if you're here tonight and want to be right. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that want to be back, all of you that want to be baptized, come on. Follow the, go where that brother is right there. Wonderful. All of you that want to be baptized, you go where that brother is right there. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who's back there getting ready? Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. truth of God, you know the truth of God puts every place on the map, you know. That's right. Wonderful. God wants you to get right. You should want to be right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make it up in your mind to be right tonight. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Get right with God and Hallelujah. thanks be unto God. Do it now. Hallelujah. Get right with God and do it now. Amen. Amen. Because one day, somebody going to walk by your body when it can't breathe, can't see, can't talk, can't feel. Your mouth going to drop open and you won't be able to speak one word. That's right. You're going to be taken out of time and move into eternity. Yeah. Young man, young girl, middle aged and old, and you will not be able to correct one thing. That's right. You won't be able to tell them folk who you've done wrong and treated wrong, I'm sorry. This is the acceptable time Amen. now for self-correction. That's right. All right. We turn the service back in the hand of Pastor Richards. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Glory to God. We thank God for the word that did go forth. We are grateful to God for the man of God in our midst. Can't thank God enough for sending him to us. It is indeed a blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we thank God for giving us a receptive ears, an obedient heart, a repented heart to accept the word and to submit to God. Good to be here in St. Lucia. Thank God for the souls that have responded and have decided to give themselves over to God. It's the best thing to do in a time like now. This word that is going around and being preached is not a joke. Hallelujah! It is the end time now. God is gathering his people. And it's a blessing for this to come our way. And for us to run for our life. So we thank God for the man of God. I continue to pray that the Lord strengthen him the more. To stand in boldness. And declare the word of God to the world. That those who are willing and obedient. Might get a chance to save their souls. We are grateful to be here with you. We trust that the Lord might continue to keep us. And guide us throughout this, these days that we have. And that we might have a good time in the Lord. May God continue to bless and keep you. Is our prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God and Father Jesus Christ, we thank you for your goodness and we praise you for your mercies. We thank you, you're blessed and you kept us, so you watched over us, O God, and given us peace. We thank you for bringing us here safely. We thank you for the congregation of your people. We thank you for the word, Lord God, that you brought to us, Lord God, and we thank you for the ears to hear. Father God, we ask you to help us to have that obedient heart to submit, Lord God, and to make our wrongs right. We thank you, O God, for the one who we are put in our midst, Lord God, to lead us in the way of righteousness. Hallelujah. Continue, O God, to unctionize him. Keep him in your right hand that he might continue to push your people, Lord God, to you. Father God, help us, O God, to run for our lives in a time like now. Hallelujah. My God, we ask you, O God, to help us to give up and give over. Lord God, before the day of judgment arrives. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done, is doing, and yet to do for us. We thank you for the many souls that have responded to your word. To take on your name in water baptism. I pray, O oh God, that you fill them with thine spirit. That they too might walk, Lord God, in newness of life. Strengthen us, guide us, and keep us. As we are about, Lord God, to separate one from the other. Pray for journeying mercies to a several home of abode. Help us to go and come again, if it is by your will. These are the mercies we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, we say, Amen. God bless you, God keep you, is our prayer. Um, the service time tomorrow.